Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to get some response back from the native code. In the last video, we learned how to call the native code and perform some action. But in this video, we will learn how to perform some operation and get the response back from the native code so we can use that in our Flutter application. So let's start. Okay, so before everything, here you can see that this is the scaffold. And in this scaffold, I'm using these two elevated buttons one for the flutter and the other one for the native so what i want to do here i want to change the background color of my application using the flutter and the native code means we know how to change the color in flutter but in this video we will learn how to change the background of my flutter application using the native code so how to do that first of all let's create a variable so this will be color and it will be equal to some string let's say 0x double f triple f triple f so this is the white color and just set it as the background color of this scaffold so in here i want to say color and int dot parse as the color is in string so i want to set the color here okay just save it now one thing is done and let's create a method so we can change the color so before changing let's create a method for setting the color so i will say set color and in here i want to get a color as a parameter so in here i will use a set state so i can actually set it you can see this is a stateful widget so in here i want to say color is equal to the parameter so one method is done now click on now when we click on this flutter button I want to call this set color method and in here I want to pass some color so I will say 0x double f 1f to 1 2 c so this is the color I want to set okay so flutter button is done now we need to work on the native button for that we need to create a method channel so we can communicate with the native code so let's say channel is equal to method channel and in here we need to pass a unique method channel name so I will use baba devs you can use anything okay so channel is created and let's create a method so we can communicate with the native side so i will say change color so in here i want to make it as a sync because i want to get some response back from the native side for that i will say await channel dot and invoke method so i want to invoke a method named change color so as the result will be coming back, I will store that in a result variable. And after that, I will call this set color method. And in here, I will pass that result variable. Okay, so now our flutter part is done, but we want to call this method here. Okay, so on the click of this native, we want to set change color. And now the flutter part is done. Now we need to go to our native side for that right click on this android folder and open in android studio it may take some time if this is the first time you are opening this as it need to download lots of files okay so after that click on this project and it should be android app java and the package name of your flutter application and after that the main activity so as the main activity is in the kotlin format so we need to write Kotlin code here. So as you can see, the main activity is extending the Flutter activity. So in here, first of all, let's create a channel. So in here, first of all, let's create a channel name so we can communicate channel name is equal to and the name of the channel should be equal to the name you set in your Flutter application. So just copy this so it won't cause any spelling mistake. And after that, paste this here okay so now channel name is created and now we need to override the flutter engine so just say override one config flutter engine and just press enter so it will just get all the code here and in this flutter engine let's say method channel and in this method channel we want to pass something which is our flutter engine dot dot executor dot binary messenger and after that use a comma and set the name of your channel you want to communicate with so i want to store this thing in a variable so i will say var channel is equal to this 
okay now method channel is created and now i want to perform some action on this channel so i will say channel dot set method call handler and i want to use this one the one with the call and result so using the call we can check which on which method we want to perform some action and using the result we can send something back to the flutter code so in here i will just say if the call dot method is equal to change color means the method we want to invoke is the change color method then i want to send a color back so you can send anything but i as i told you that i want to change the color so i will just say result dot um, wait a second result dot success and in here i want to pass a string with the color of 0x double f 60 e95 d okay so everything is done and now we need to go back to our flutter side and let's run this application so the application is running and you can see the background is white as the color was white by default and if i click on the flutter button you can see that the color is changed but it is changed using the flutter code now we want to change the color using the native code so if i click on this you can see the color is changed and this is the same color we sent back to this flutter application so flutter and native so this is how you can get some response back from this native code so if you don't know how to perform some native action in your flutter application you can watch our previous video and using this video you can get some response after some processing from the native code to your flutter code that's all for today i hope you liked it if you did press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more so see you in the next one till that allah is